And guys, today I'm up here at Aviator with Anna. We're going to be doing gap jumps. She's been getting really good at normal jumps. And that's the next step for her. So Stop, Ben. Let's see if we can get her doing those. Let's get into it. So, first we'll just do a little run in. Just get used to that little first wooden feature in the rollers. And go around that berm, so you can just get a feel for that. Because I think that's the most important part of the track really. Just having enough speed around there. So, once we get that right, you should be pretty good. So with that speed we just had, mm -hmm. that's that's enough speed to actually jump on. If you really do want, you can take just a little pedal stroke, just oh, for like a little bit extra sure. speed. But with that, I could have easily just hopped on. Mm -hmm. And then the off is like nothing to worry about. That's easy as. So this time I'm gonna, I'll do that first on off and then stop after that. So if you wanna follow me into it, then okay. you can do that. Only if you're feeling good. Round two. Last time she cased it because she broke, broke. But I think this time she's got it. <laughs> and you did that one. How was that? Uh. Scary. Yeah. Um, Did you do that last one as well? Yes. That one's all good? Not too bad? Like cased, but yeah. it's, it was fine, yeah. Yeah. A little bit more speed. Mm -hmm. It's a bit of a headwind, but last time she managed to do all three. One, two, and then this one. That's sick ass. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Anna and I had a little chat just then. We're looking at the these next two. And so she's asked me to do them each time so she can kind of watch. See what they look like. You do the drop? Whoa, really? Yes. Didn't think so. Oh. <laughs> well done. Oh. Is it very scary? No, it's actually all good. I don't know if I broke too much. But you landed or deep? Just, uh, or did you case? No, I did not case. No. <laughs> Good. So somehow, and I managed to do the drop. Very surprised, but very impressed as well. Just break a little bit. Uh, she should be alright for that gap. I just wanted to break for here. Ooh. <laughs> Off the side of the lip. Last time Anna went deep, so I just told her to a little bit of brakes on the drop. Still too deep. <laughs> Three good taps on the brakes this time, mm -hmm. so you don't land too deep. And if you land alright, then you have more than enough speed for the jump after. Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. Uh, Anna's been landing a little bit deep on the drop. I just told her a bit more brakes, she should be right. But this time it was much better. Like but landing in the middle? Yes, yes. Okay. It was stab more stable. The previous two times <laughs> scary. it was very scary. It is very scary going flat because it's a lot bigger of a jump going yes. deep. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Good job. <laughs> You're definitely going a little bit fast off the drop. Okay. Like you can go a lot slower. I think you landed pretty hard. But, but this time I did it did not shake me, you know? Like I just yeah, You're ready for it. Yes, mate. The next one was easy? Yeah, it was. It's very good, isn't it? Yeah, the feeling is amazing. <laughs> Alright, second round. I told her she can still go a lot slower off that drop. Because it still looked like she landed quite hard. Right, nice on that one. Ooh. little bit of yes. case on that mm -hmm. one yeah but then, and then started <laughs> yeah and then tiny case there because that one was fine that one was yeah. pretty good as well that, that one actually looked pretty good a little bit to the side mm -hmm. also around these rollers here mm -hmm. you, if you kind of try pump that a bit more or a little pedal stroke just around this corner okay or if you go a little bit higher in the corner you mm -hmm. kind of pump around that and then those yeah. are the two main spots for you to gain speed mm -hmm. on that track. Yeah, I agree. So as you can see right here, she just cases the little surgeon's table, which, which will put her flow off a little bit for the rest of the track. You all right? I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, I survived. Yeah. Mm. A nice soft landing. <laughs> what you might have done if your foot kind of came out and off, and you might have been like kind of pulling up like with that, oh. like which is what a lot of people with clips do. But to like kind of push into a jump, you want to actually push the front and rear suspension. It's not actually about pulling at all, it's all about yeah. pushing. A bit better, didn't case it. A little bit deep on this one. Oh, that was nice. Little case on this one, but that was a really good run. The landing was much better. Yeah, I think that's probably your best run. It looked very smooth. This next video is very shaky, but I thought it was a good comparison of with and without stabilization. Recorder, so we can see from the side. Now we moved on to how good for a little bit. So with this one, mm -hmm. you can see to get from it from that berm, it is a lot sharper of a corner, especially with that tree. So you do need to kind of go a little bit slower. You do need to pump up that, because otherwise you'll just run out of speed. But you do land very heavily, yeah. like much, quite a bit heavier than Aviator. Because this, the landing on these drops are made for like this one here. There's, well, actually, probably more made for that one. Yes. So since it's going to be a bit not as steep, mm -hmm. since this you're going to be landing going down a lot more, you're going to be landing a lot harder. Mm -hmm. oh, I wasn't too high in here. Oh! <laughs> You actually did that really good. Like you seem to clear that last one. Yes. So with pumping that last one, since you pumped the rollers this time, it made a big difference. That that's like with every roller on each every trail, that that's what they're there for, just for getting that little bit extra speed. 
because otherwise it's just extra work to put there so that's why Pretty good. Oh. Tiring. Yeah. Yeah, the pumping is quite tiring. Yeah. Another thing you could practice, you see on the one just down there, you could like jump onto that hip landing, mm -hmm. like a little bit to that side. You don't need to start with very much, just a little bit, but that's that'll be a good skill to practice kind of a bit more control on the, of the bike. Show Anna what I mean by hipping this. Yeah, you do have a bit more. Oh. I can touch that. Look like you landed with your front tire a little bit wobbly. That looks scary. Hey. going down first then I'm gonna video and I'm doing this last one Two other women have done it. Very cool. And uh, now clearing that last one on how good, pretty good. Definitely not an easy jump to clear. You need quite a bit of skill. But I think after doing those big ones, it's a bit easier to like commit to that speed and pumping and stuff. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. It was really cool to see how much Anna improved. She did quite a lot. But sadly, I can't really do any more coaching in Auckland because I'm actually down in Christchurch now for university and in my hall right now. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.